Boom. Welcome to Thunder Nerds. I'm Brian Hinton. And I'm Frederick Philip Von Weiss. And you are consuming the Thunder Nerds, a conversation for the people behind the technology that love what they do. And do web good. Ah, and today we are talking with John Papa. How you doing, sir? Love that. Good. Guy. How you doing? Very well. Thank you. Thanks for joining us on the show. So excited yeah, to have here. you. Yeah. I uh, love your name. <laughs> By the way, I just want to say, and it's great we have his, your son, correct? Yeah, and yeah my son audience. Landon. Pa, John, Papa, son. Oh, it's perfect. Oh, because you're a Papa? Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Doubly Papa. Double Papa. <laughs> Double Papa. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I like it. John, do you mind telling us a little bit about who you are and uh, what you do? Sure. Uh, I'm a web developer. I've been living in Florida for the last couple of years, from New York originally. And I do a lot of JavaScript in the past. I did a lot with um, ASP.NET and XAML and C Sharp and a lot of database stuff in my past as well, too. And nice. these days, I'm a developer advocate for the web. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I also see that you have a podcast on Angular. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah. I'm an occasional host on the co-host on the uh, Angular Adventures in Angular. Ah, oh, nice. That's awesome. Do you mind telling us a little bit about the podcast? Sure, there's about four to six hosts, and we rotate in and out. Oh, uh, so okay. we have a conversation, we get guests coming on, and we basically just talk about various topics in the Angular development community, whether it's technical or more about community itself. Yeah, so what, uh, what's the views on 4? I'm sorry? On Angular 4. Oh, version 4? Yeah. Uh, well, we're in version 5 now. Oh, are we? So, we're in version what? 5 already? Yeah. <laughs> Every six months, new major version. Uh, I didn't even know. <laughs> Tell us about oh. 5. Oh, the best thing about versions two, four, and five, since they've gone to the new re the, they remade right after version one to yeah. version two. Uh, the best thing about moving up from there is now the major version changes every six months. Uh, it takes you literally five seconds to upgrade. Ah, uh, see, so, that's really nice. Uh, yep. Interesting. They uh, they're doing this now, so they never have to go through one of those big remakes. Yeah, again. I heard it was painful from two to four. One to two. two. One to one to two. One to two. Yeah, yeah I don't know. I've lost track. Uh, well, see, it's oh, funny. actually, it was one point. Something. You want points. Yeah, there's a huge scuttlebutt about that. <laughs> What's funny is people, uh, I hear all the time in the business world, oh my gosh, Angular, you know, it's, it's, it's uh, JavaScript is always changing all the time. We don't know what's going to live next week. Uh, Angular's been around for seven years. That's mostly so, Google people. It's not going to go anywhere. You know, it's like <laughs> yeah. seven years in JavaScript is yeah. crazy. Yeah. It's been around for so long. But then they complain because now they're having an upgrade every six months. And it's like, well, have you actually tried it? No, it's like, well then, and yeah, five minutes. And aren't so. they moving more towards it being more um, native friendly? Being that, like, it could easily go the path of being it's just web components. That's what they I'm are. Going, they are. There's some new stuff yeah. they're working on. Uh, they have an Angular Labs thing, which is going to be more like to to more officially tell people, look, these are things we're thinking about, yeah. we're working on, but they're not officially blessed yet. And Angular Elements is one of those. Uh, it's basically to make anything that you build in Angular work in hmm. any other environment. Oh, that's cool. So it's basically following the web component model. Oh, gotcha. OK. That's very interesting. Yeah. Did you mind uh, telling us a little bit about the talk today? Am I talking today? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, we're at an event. Yeah, we're at an yeah, event. Yeah, we sure. are at DevFest Florida. <laughs> you you speak at 4 o'clock. So that's, Do I? That's I coming up. Go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my god, I didn't even write it. <laughs> hey, everybody. So Angular, what's uh, that all about? Burp, 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 burp. We'll see you. Yeah, we'll be uh, talking about Angular, and I think today's talk, uh, I'm going to focus on a, a lot of things, basically uh -huh. building a Mongo Express Angular node app, a meme Okay. App. Uh, they call it meme.js. Uh, how you can build one of those, but more importantly, is once you're done writing code, how do you take that and optimize it, get all the performance out of it, hmm. and then take that and put it in the cloud so that you don't hear somebody say, hey, it works on my machine. You know, It works on my Windows machine, it works on my Mac machine, it works on Ubuntu, on Linux. Hmm. So the whole story is more about when you're done writing code, let's bring it home that extra mile. Nice. All right. So how did you actually get into Angular? Like, what, were you just more of a uh, vanilla JS guy and kind of fell into that, or did you play around just with? Fell right into it. Fell right into it. <laughs> and and uh, you know, do, do do you ever think about going the React way? Uh, I try a lot of things out. So okay. yeah, a couple questions there. Right? Like, how did I get yeah. into it? 20 years ago, I did a lot of JavaScript. This is like before jQuery, before the browsers actually were a lot more similar than they are today. Yeah. So yeah. it was painful. Uh, it was awful, actually. It was fun and awful at the same time. Then I got away from JavaScript. Like, I'm never doing this again. Ever in my life, <laughs> I'll never do it. I'm done. Uh, I went to things like ASP.NET and C Sharp and Silverlight. And, ah, uh, and Silverlight. Then the iPhone came out and things changed. 
Yeah, and truly. the browsers decided to start playing nicer together. jQuery was a good thing for us. So it basically made it easy cross browser. So I jumped back in. I started doing Backbone and Knockout. Before that, oh, I did pure yeah. vanilla JS, yeah. uh, and I built my own framework. Nice. Uh, okay. And my friend Dan Wally. What'd you call it? Well, I just called it my stuff. <laughs> I didn't have a name. My stuff. <laughs> my Perfect. good friend Dan Wally that used to make fun of me. He's like, we're, we're really is uh, tongue in cheek. He's like, he called it John's Frankenstein framework because it really was. It was like a little of everything put together. Yeah, all the good stuff. You know, but only I knew how it worked. So that's <laughs> I'm like, you know, maybe I should invest some time into Backbone was out at the time, Knockout JS. Uh, eventually I got into doing Angular. And mm -hmm. lately I've been doing a little bit of Vue and React and Angular just to kind of learn all sides of those. Yeah, nice. And Angular plays well with everything else. So that's, uh, yeah. It's nice. I'm, I'm kind of curious, what, what do you do as far as a developer advocate at Microsoft? And I'm a yeah. huge, I, we, I talked to someone who was it earlier that we spoke with, my, uh, was from Microsoft, but uh, I don't anyway, I exploded all over him with my fandom of, I know I have a, a MacBook, but I love, I love Microsoft. I love I have all MacBook. things like Microsoft, yeah. So I, six, seven months ago, I was working at Disney. That's where I worked for many years. Ah. And I got a phone call from some friends at Microsoft. They said, hey, would you like this new role? Let me tell you about it. Personally, you never have to move because I love Florida. I love living near Disney World. Yeah. My kids love it. Right, Landon? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> so we're not going anywhere. And the second thing was, uh, like, look, I don't use Windows anymore. I don't use Visual Studio. I don't use C Sharp. Um, I like them. I just, I yeah. like this node JavaScript world better in a Mac. I said, that's fine. That's actually what we want. We want so to, a different to bring the people and coding whatever you're coding in, Python, Go, yeah. Java, JavaScript for me, and bring them to using the Azure services. Ooh, okay. So like cognitive services, ML, uh, artificial intelligence, yeah. uh, deploying to the cloud, databases. I'm like, I think I could do that as long as you promise I can stay in my tools and in my code and my sure you know, like absolutely. So that's kind of the idea of so if they sent you like a surface, you would be, you would be like, Pfft. I probably would. <laughs> <laughs> Even like the oh, the touchy. Well, I'm, I, yeah. I like to draw, so yeah. that would be okay. like the Surface Pro or something. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well. Those things are pretty nice. I use an iPad Pro. Now, so oh, they're drawing. Yeah. yeah, those iPad Pros are nice. What that's do you draw? Uh, on the side, I do a lot of little stuff. Like you can't see it here, but uh, or they can't see it, but you can see it. Like oh, dude, uh, Django Fett. Yeah. Oh my god, it's this a is nice so amazing. Yeah, actually, it is. Yeah. yeah. So I, I do that on the side. Like I'll go on like cruises awesome. and stuff, and I'll go on vacation or whatever. Whenever you basically any place, I can just unplug. So and let, I stop the email. I just draw. Let me let me ask you: Did art get you into development? No. Yeah. No. Okay. What got you into development? Uh, my father. Oh, interesting. Okay. Oh. Yeah. My father uh, is a first-generation Sicilian uh -huh. uh, here in America. Yeah, Paisan, hey. And his whole family got in construction. No stereotypes there. No, right? no. Uh, and Are they, you also uh, from Jersey? No, New York, though. Oh, Jersey City. Yeah, I'm upstate New York. And it was fun, but I, I got a lot of construction when I was a kid. I was either going to be an architect or I was going to be into computers. And the more I looked at what things were going with computers, my father bought me one when I was young. Uh, ah. Was it a PC Junior? Yeah, in the mid '80s. It was, I think it familiar. lived for about two years. Yeah. Wow, that's awesome! Uh, and just got me into learning to code. My first thing I ever did was I hooked up to a bulletin board service at the time. There's no internet. Yeah, uh, and I booked a one-way flight for my sister to go to Moscow. <laughs> Ticket came in the mail, Wait, and I what? got in trouble. <laughs> did you really? I did. That is hilarious. <laughs> that's awesome. Yes. What, what happened? Like, what, what was the? Pun I want to know what the punishment could possibly be for that. Well, and did she actually go? It, no. <laughs> It was funny to everybody except my sister. Uh, and then my father, when he found out, they actually charged a charge a credit card. <laughs> so, oh, <laughs> no. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. So I, I assume he got the money back. And yeah, I got in trouble for that. Well, <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's awesome. That's very Kevin McAllister of you. <laughs> yeah. I, I love my sister very much. Uh, we get along great. But it was, well, I mean, it was you were fun. kids. Yeah, yeah. It was funny. Yeah. I was yeah. like 11. I don't know. <laughs> Hey, you know, I'm mad at my sister today. Let's book her a flight to Moscow. Well, well you know, like you're yeah. <laughs> you're yeah. Always got plenty of ideas of what to do. Yeah. <laughs> That's so cool. Okay, so you went from that machine, you uh, almost extradited your sister, mm -hmm. and then you, uh, <laughs> from there, you fell in love with the uh, computers. I did. Uh, I started using uh, TRS-80s in school they had back then, the Radio Shack computers, when Radio Shack was the thing. 
Radio, I think Radio fun? Shacks are still a thing. <laughs> okay. Yeah, kind they of. Are Radio Shack. Kind of. <laughs> they, they mostly sell batteries now. Okay. Um, yeah, you could get things like a cell phones. Uh, cell phones. Yeah, you could get. A, yeah, they don't sell anything cool like these two. Where you used to be able to build a robot from parts. Oh, yeah, they have robots yeah. and drones and stuff for a while. Magnets. Yeah. They used to have that one thing where yeah. you touch it and all the, you like that Tesla kind of ball. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've always wanted one of those. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Those I've things are awesome. It. And now I can buy one, and for some reason I just never buy it. Well, it's not like you ever walk into a Spencer's Gifts now, like all the time. No. I'm sure they have them there for like 20 bucks. Are they still, does that store still exist? Spencer's? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Probably right. One of the way back. I, I never yeah. go to the mall. Yeah, right. I never go to the mall anymore. No. I, I think that's where they are. Is the mall? My mall is Amazon. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I think too. Like once you pass thirty, you're not yeah. never going to go into a mall anyway. So I think we dropped all the big names so far. I work at Microsoft. I shop at Amazon. <laughs> I have an iPhone and use a Mac. Uh -huh. and I work on Google software. And you also use a iPad Pro to make your uh, yes. drawings. <laughs> <laughs> We're hitting all the major uh, environments here, right? So currently, uh, let me make sure I have this right. So you are at Microsoft. You were a regional director. Uh, I used to be. That that's kind of like a MVP type role for Microsoft. Oh, okay, that's gotcha. A funny name. So what what is what is your actual uh, title there? My oh. formal title is the principal developer. No, principal cloud developer advocate. I'm a web guy. Yes, gotcha. That's just what I said. CDA. Yeah. So as an advocate, do you, you speak a lot or you go now to a lot of conferences like this? Yeah, in the spring and the fall, I go out quite a bit. Yeah. Uh, I do a lot online too. So, you know, the uh -huh. Twitter thing, uh, YouTube, Hangouts, uh -huh. yeah, what's webinars your and day-to-day -day like for that type of position? Are you spending your day reaching out to people constantly? Is that kind of what it is? Yeah, I, I look at it. So I run a small team of folks around the world who do this, mm -hmm. and we cover uh, JavaScript-y things. So... Uh, JavaScript, TypeScript, React, Angular, Vue. We also mm -hmm. cover Node.js, the web. Okay. And we all have different backgrounds and do this, but we do like three things. Mm -hmm. We talk with the community, engage with them. Mm -hmm. uh, and I say with, not at. It's not a, hey, yeah. let me tell you yeah. what to use. You're, you're doing you it wrong. You use Azure or else this. <laughs> yeah, no, no, that's, nobody yeah. wants to hear that. No. No. <laughs> Especially <laughs> developers are like, no, my way is better. It's mm -hmm. awful. And the best. You know what? Yeah. We love everything you're doing, mm -hmm. but just change everything about you, and you can use our tools. Ah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's no, a good sell. <laughs> no, no. Yeah. Um, so we don't do that. We engage the community. A lot of that's listening and going out and doing talks. And yeah. Frankly, uh -huh. hearing what you're saying. Uh, a lot of my talks are not Azure specific. They're about other technologies. And then I uh -huh. talk about okay, and if you want to use, use it, with it Azure, yeah, yeah. You know, here's my ideas. Here's where it makes sense. Yeah. Um, that's only part of it. The other two parts are talking with the product team. Like I have to take the feedback back now and go to the product team and go, this is how these people actually like work all day and yeah. what they do and how they code. And you know, that information is gold because then we can figure out how do we make our stuff relate to them more yeah. as opposed to making it more abrasive, you know? Good point. And the last piece is content. I create videos, uh, right. docs, yeah, plural software. Site. Yep. Yeah. So all three of those kind of go together. You should do it. Uh, do Azure kind of like the meow thing, like just as you're talking, just be like Azure into the conversation. Just, <laughs> yeah. just like, <laughs> just like <laughs> no, so what's Azure, 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 Azure? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Only if it makes sense. I, I do entire talks I have nothing to do with the cloud still because yeah, that, it's just my personality. I don't really want to sell anything. I just want to talk about how cool the web is. Yeah, the stuff that you um, like. Yeah, yeah, and and you could That's definitely important. say Azure is cool. I've I've played around with it. It's, I, the interface is really interesting because it's almost like, I am, am I in Windows ten or am I in uh, what, <laughs> oh, what the am portal? I? Yeah, 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 it's yeah. really interesting. The it's interface is unique compared to a lot of like a, like AWS. Amazon stuff. Oh my God, that is a nightmare. The, uh, the Although UI is horrible. Everything's in one page, so you can literally just search the page with Command F and find everything. In Amazon. In Amazon. Uh, it's like one big text area. <laughs> kind of, yeah, I guess. Yeah. My experience with Amazon has been a nightmare. Like you having to assign this, assign that, and go over this, and go to this, and then oh, you want to use this service guy. My, I mean, to me, I, I don't. I'm not a fan of AWS. I think Google and Azure is better. Mm -hmm. I think everybody's got their favorites. Or do there's, there's those three, but people also like like Heroku and yes, you know, oh loves love, it. love it. Yeah, yeah Heroku is like weirdly easy. <laughs> it's like yeah. wait, it yeah. builds it, <laughs> except when it doesn't build it, and then you're like, why didn't it build it? <laughs> they all have their pros and cons, and yeah. uh, it's good to yeah. try them all out and kind of oh, yeah. understand them. Definitely. Well, yeah, that way you have some context of what you like and what works for you, right? Right. Yeah, exactly. absolutely. Well, it's, it's a, like the Angular React Vue.js yeah. words. Yeah. yeah, people use the words. Try to. Yeah. Tegan, which one should I be using? 
all of them. Yeah, what, exactly. no, that's the wrong one. Yeah. Don't tell me the wrong one. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and you just pick whatever one you're happiest with. Exactly. They all work, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's funny. Yeah. Well, hey, we're, we're at the end. I was wondering if you have any kind of closing words of wisdom, actionable takeaways from our audience. Any Anything you'd like to share before we uh, get out? Yeah, I think the biggest thing I like to tell people is, uh, you know, get involved. If you're trying to figure out how you can stay up with current things or uh, learn more about open source, just go open up a pull request or an issue on some page and yeah. do something. Easiest way to do it is to start with like a readme file. You know, find some mistake in a readme file, make a pull request. And, you know, be nice on the internet. Yeah, yeah. that's a really that's good, a good one. Yeah. piece of advice. Especially lot, Twitter. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of places yeah. where uh, just people are just, uh, I don't know if they feel more superior or whatever, but like being rude is not the way to go. Well, if I have a wall between me and you, yeah. it's easier for me to be gruff. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I always try to act like when I'm typing on the internet, if would I say this if I was a person with this person? Oh, and if you think about it that way, and think of the empathy. Exactly. Would you want to be told... Oh, you have an open source project? Oh, your stuff stinks. This is awful. What were you thinking? I was wrong. Sorry. Is that what you would say to somebody? Right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Excellent. All right. Great. great. Thanks so much for being on the great show. Thanks away. for having me. Thank yeah. you. Thank you.